Yes, I'm very excited. Today's my first full day here. I've got a full day scheduled. I'm on my way now to meet up with Wax Tours or this really fabulous tour company. They do walks in like basically like all of the major cities. And the tour I'm putting today is like a skip the line tour at Saint Chapelle, which like I'm ashamed to say I've never been inside, mainly because I never want to wait in a line for it. So this is amazing. We're doing that. We're doing like a little walking tour of the medieval district. It's shaping up to be a great like morning. <laughs> October 16, 4 a.m., she's brought here to herself. Her hair cut short for the evening. She writes her last letter, which was next right here, to her sister-in-law, Madame Elizabeth, who is in the letter she asked for one thing. She asked her sister-in-law to try to save her son. She never really mentions her daughter. She doesn't care about it, she, of course she cares about it. Now, finally, we'll organize the trial. We'll just organize the trial. Put her on trial October 14, 1793, in the House of Justice.
I just got done doing the walks tour. It was amazing. We had this really fantastic tour guide named Avi who just, his enthusiasm carried over so much. A fascinating like three hours. We started out learning about the history of Paris and how the Romans took it over from the Celts. We went over to Notre Dame, which obviously because of the fire, you still can't go in, but it's amazing how much of the rebuilding they've gotten through just since I was here in March. We also got to learn a little bit more about the history. One point after one of the revolutions, Notre Dame kind of fell into a state of disrepair and was being used as like basically a storage facility. The city wanted to tear it down, but because Victor Hugo had just written uh, Hans Rack of Notre Dame, which ended up becoming a massive hit, French people had such like fondness for Notre Dame after that that they petitioned to save it. And obviously they did save it. Otherwise, like, we wouldn't have it today, which is kind of insane to think about. After that, we went to Saint-Chapelle, which, honestly, we have never done it, mainly because the line's always crazy. But with this, you get to skip the line, so we got to go straight to the front to hear all the history. Honestly, if you would have gone in by yourself, like, you would have missed out, like, the fact that the stained glass windows each represent, like, a book of the Bible and different stories and just, you know, little details like that. So it's absolutely stunning like highly recommend going there and then after that we walked through um basically the department of justice where like back in the day like they used to house the prisoners including Marie Antoinette so that was really cool we got to see history of the guillotine and before that like kind of how being drawn and quartered happened and honestly I was blown away by how good it was so I'm gonna go get my macaroons have like my nice little dessert from there we'll go do drinks in the latin quarter which like, obviously it's gonna be fun. Who doesn't love wine and cheese? I always have the best time, so I'm really, really excited that they're having me for this one. I think it's going to be really special. Well, next up, wine and cheese. obviously seen some footage of my last couple of hours on my devour um, aperitivo tour but naturally after a couple glasses of wine and champagne and cheese it was only so much vlogging i was gonna do let's be honest because i was gonna get distracted by the food and the wine and the company every time i'm on a devour tour i end up making friends and this was no exception really i think what devour tours are about i'm not gonna guarantee you're gonna make friends but every time i'm on a devour tour not only is the tour guide amazing but like the group of 
people that they bring together. It's always magical. And tonight was no exception. And on top of that, I'm walking home. It's really cold, it's raining, but look at my view right now. Like, honestly, how lucky am I? This is what I get to walk home to tonight. And it's midnight in Paris, in the rain, and it's freezing. Like, this is my view. And I feel so special and so lucky right now.